everyone, I'm reading Big Nate in the Zone again. It's Saturday again. And it, we are reading chapter four. Chapter four. What did I do this time? Principal Nicole's already made me his punching bag once today. Is he going to ball me out again just for fun? Well, hello there. Hi, Mr. Polsky, I say. She's the school secretary. There's any upside to, vidi, to visiting the principal's office, she's it. Here's why. One, unlike your boss, she's actually nice to us. Good morning, kid. What's good about that? Two, she's a go-to person whenever there's an emergency. Mr. Polsky! Mr. Polsky! Francis is about to barf! She keep, three, she keeps a jar of jelly beans on her desk. Yum! Lemon? Cherry, orange, try the pineapple. It's delish. Wait a minute. Speaking of jelly beans, where are they? I suppose Key reads my mind. No more jelly beans, Nate, she says. They're becoming a candy free office. Instead, how about some delicious washi beads? Or waste beans? Instead, how about some delicious waste bee beans? Uh, ah, Nate, long time no see. <laughs> Come in. Woo! Played by the big fella himself. No offense to Mr. Polsky, but those beans look like those beans look like a bowl of rabbit turds. Nate, Principal Nicole, Nicole say as he shuts the door. Kind of. You may have noticed a few changes around the school. Yeah, like the vending machine turning into a salad bar. But hey, he's not shouting at me. Guess he's moved past the little plastic bottle incident. I was planning on making an announcement about those changes, about uh, those very changes at, the, at tomorrow's assembly, he continues. Then I had an idea. <laughs> what? Well, there's the first time for everything. Why not living things up with a little music? Music? Where is he going with this? And why is he telling me about it? You belong to a band, don't you, Nate? Uh, captured the uh, crystalline, crystalline, or boy the lobster, or enslave the mollusk. Yeah, and FYI, I don't just belong to the greatest sixth grade rock band of all time. I started it. It's real life comics presents Birth of a Band. It all began one day when Ellen was watching some cheesy boy band on TV. Ooh, girl, you're so hot and so am I. Ah, aren't they dreamy? Dreamy? They stink. I suppose you think you could do better. Yes, yes I could. Ba bing I found Francis and Teddy. Guys, we're going to start a band. Uh, we are? Yes, and we're going to call ourselves and slay them all us. I like the name. It's stupid. It's so stupid. It's actually cool. We started rehearsing. Francis on the guitar. Teddy on the keyboard. And I was the lead singer. But I I thought we sounded awesome. But then one day while well, we practiced in my garage. What is going on in here? Oh, hey, Arthur. Just a little band practice. That's all. Band? But... I heard distinctive mating calling of Super and Mountain Goat. <laughs> that was me, Arthur. I was saying I fought the law. Oh, ho, I know also the song. Breaking rocks in the hot song. I fought the law and the law won. Wow, Arthur, you're good. You want to join the band? Yes, absolute. I'm ready to sing my butt song. Great. Bad news. Arthur became our lead singer, and I took over on the drums. Good news. Turned out I'm an incredible drummer. I wonder why. That's the story of Enslaved and Molusk, and we've been rocking ever since. It's in my garage. We never performed in public. Principal Nicole is rambling on. Nate, this assembly is important. I want our message to del to be delivered in a memorable way. So I'm inviting Enslaved to Moss to perform the announcement as a song. Whoa, really? I blurt out. My whole body is tingling. 
I mean, yeah, we could do that. But do you honestly think you can compose a song by tomorrow morning, he asked. No doubt about it. I can whip up a song in nothing in no time. That's, that's, not, that's not bragging, by the way. It took me less than half an hour to write a latest song. It's a pen's world, and I'm a second-place pencil. You don't have to make up a song from nothing, Principal Nicole said. You just need to set these words to music. Hmm. Let's see. What does it say? It says, studies show most people are just physically fit as they could be. Let's improve the health and fitness of all the students and teachers. There's by eating healthy lunches, uh, stacking less between minutes, exercise at least 45 minutes a day, every day. I'm going to go for two to the safety of all and do that. Well, it's not exactly top 40 material, but a slave to balls can make it wrong. I'll just get the guys together after school and... After school? Oh no. Principal Nicole's raised an eyeball. Is there a problem? Um, sort of, I tell him. Miss Hickson gave me a chance to touch it today. I, uh, broke one of her beanbag chairs. It was, but it was an accident. And we fixed it. It's as good as new. Hmm. Principal Nicole's rubbed his chin. Then drops his voice to a whisper. Then I suppose you leave me no choice, Nate. To give you enough work. Should it give you enough time to work on your song? I'll have to cancel your detention. <gasps> can I hard? Can, I can hardly believe what I'm hearing. You will? And Chad's too? That depends. He says with a smile. Is Chad in demand? Um, well, not quite, I admit. But he's sort of like our unofficial manager. Chad's back. He plays the oboe. But the only song I know is here about Squeak! Oink, 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 All right, both you and Chad are off the hook. Then he remembers who he is and wags a finger at me. Just this was. Hey, I'm expecting an A plus before from a slave to bus tomorrow. Count on it. I peel out of there. I peel out of there before he changes his mind. Wow, this is crazy. Wait till I tell the guys that my darn band is going to rock at the assembly tomorrow in front of the whole school. And wait till I tell Chad's detention was cancelled. That never happens. But then, but this is weird. When I do tell, da, del, tell Chad during gym class, that doesn't seem surprised at all. I knew something like this would happen thanks to my lucky foot. Huh? Your lucky rabbit foot, you mean. He shakes his head. Ben pulls something from his pocket. Nope, it's just a foot. See? It's it's part of some p sort of action figure. Right after you left for the principal's office, I found it on the floor of the cafeteria. Uh, okay. I don't, uh, want to sound mean, but that's just some grubby piece of molded plastic. What makes you think it's lucky, I asked, for the second time today. Tad blesses... Tad blushes like his butt's on fire. Well, as soon as I picked it up, Maya came by. And guess what? She actually talked to me. I thought she barely knew my name. Now she might be starting to like me. That proves my lucky foot works. No, it doesn't, Romeo. Look, I'm glad that ha Chad and Maya are on their way to Happy Town, but that little plastic foot has nothing to do with it. Real good luck charms are rare. Can't just make one of z you can't just make one by pulling the left off a of GI Joe. And I've forgotten all about like that by thir by three fifteen. When all four members of the slave and Molus meet in my garage, we're all screwed. No stock. Blah 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. Nate, Arthur asks, What is where is fitness zone paper from Principal and the Coles? I stuck it in my backpack. It's over by the door. Okay, I am get it. Francis, Teddy, and I loosen up to one of our best songs. Why do they call it hot lunch when my meatloaf is cold? That's the name of, this, of the song. 
It sounds okay, but it's way better with the vocal part. Hear that, Arthur? We need you. Arthur? Where do you go? Maybe your guitar playing scared him off. Come on, let's find him. The three of us step outside, and... Hey, what's this? He's halfway up the block. Arthur, what are you doing? We've got to rehearse. Yeah, stop walking, start rocking. I have not feel so much like rocking, he mumbles. He's got a look on his face I've never seen before. Arthur, I say a little ticked off, wasting time. What's your problem? I am not have it. I am. I am not have a problem until this. I find in your backpack. Note to self: Next time you make a list of stupid names. Note to self: Next time you make a list of stupid pet names for Arthur, destroy the evidence. I dive the list into my pocket. It's all nothing, Arthur. I tell him it's a joke. That's all. Yes, so funny. He says. Except for nobody is laughing. He turns his he turns on his heel and walks off. Wait, Francis calls after him. What about the slave the mollusk? Get get for yourself another mollusk. I quit. We you uh never mind. Okay. We we will read up uh, you want to stay tuned for chapter five. Okay? Bye! And don't forget to like and subscribe down below.